Thank you so much for watching Landom Sea Goes There. Please subscribe and hit the like button and the bell notification button. The Hustler is a 1961 sports romantic drama film that was directed by Robert Rawson. It stars Paul Newman, Piper Laurie, George C. Scott, Jackie Gleason, and Myron McCormick. The story is about Fast Eddie Felson, who's a small-time pool hustler with a lot of talent, but with a real self-destructive attitude. His bravado makes him challenge the legendary Minnesota Fats to a high-stakes match, but he loses in a heartbreaking marathon. He's now broke without his longtime manager, and he faces an uphill battle to regain his confidence and his game. He finally hits rock bottom, and he agrees to join up with the ruthless and cutthroat manager, Burt Gordon. Gordon agrees to take him on the road to learn the ropes, but he soon realizes that making it to the top could cost him his soul and perhaps his girlfriend. Will he decide that this is too steep a price to pay in time to save himself? The movie was shot on location in New York City and was a major critical and popular success, gaining a reputation as a modern classic. Its exploration of winning and losing garnered a number of major awards. It's also really credited with helping to spark a resurgence in the popularity of pool. The novel that the film was based on was optioned several times, including by Frank Sinatra, but attempts to adapt it for the screen were just unsuccessful. It's thought that one of the major reasons that those first adaptions didn't work is that they focused too much on the pool aspect of the story and not enough on the human interaction. The director filmed the movie in just over six weeks, entirely in New York City. Much of the action was filmed in two now-defunct pool halls. The film is fundamentally a story of what it means to be a human being, couched within the context of winning and losing. His protagonist, a fast Eddie, wants to become a great pool player, but the film is really about the obstacles that he encounters in attempting to fulfill himself as a human being. He attains self-awareness only after a terrible personal tragedy, which he has caused, and then he wins the pool game. Paul Newman and Jackie Gleason established a really good friendship on the set. At one point, Newman got a little cocky about it with his newfound pool skills and challenged the much more experienced Gleason to a $50 bet on a game. Newman broke, then it was Gleason's turn. He knocked all 15 balls in, and Newman never got another shot. Newman had never held a pool cue before he landed this role as Fast Eddie. He took out a dining room table from his home, and he installed a pool table so he could spend every waking hour practicing and polishing his skills. Piper Laurie recalls the filming of the movie, stating that she kept mostly to herself while shooting because she viewed it more as a working set, just a lot of intense work and not particularly fun at all. She never got to meet Jackie Gleason at all, although she did visit the pool room and she said it was fun to meet George C. Scott. Later on after the movie was released, People would ask Piper Laurie what George C. Scott had whispered to her in one scene, but she didn't know exactly what he had whispered. It was too faint for her to hear, so she ended up asking him what he said. He told her, You know, I really never said anything. He figured that anything that he said would not have been as powerful as your imagination could bring to this. After the making of the film, Piper Laurie didn't make another film for 15 years. She devoted all her time to her marriage and raising her only daughter. She returned to the screen in 1976 to star in Carrie, 
earning her her second Oscar nomination. The great pool legend Willie Moscone was brought in as a technical advisor and a stand-in for the actors, particularly Paul Newman, in the tougher pool shots that they did. The crew members noted how Moscone was similar to the Minnesota Fats character as written. He was well-dressed and a player who brought a deep concentration to the game and that there was really nothing that he couldn't do once he went to work on that pool table. During filming, one of the production days happened to fall on St. Patrick's Day. Prior to Jackie Gleason's arrival on the set, To shoot at the pool hall, the lighting crew took out all the clear gels and replaced them with green ones. Upon seeing this, Gleason was so impressed that he said, Boys, this looks beautiful. Take the rest of the day off. He then turned around and exited the set, and the production was shut down for that day. To achieve Sarah's limp, Piper Laurie, first experimented with walking around with pebbles in her shoes. Finally, she just decided to do it without anything in her shoes because the director just didn't want the limp to be obvious, and he didn't want it consistent. He felt like he wanted the audience to be aware of it sometimes and other times not to be. While she was trying to research this part and prepare for it, Lori actually hung out at the Greyhound Terminal at night. Now, speaking of Miss Lori, she did a book where she detailed some stories about her relationship with our ex-president, Ronald Reagan. And some of the things that she said in there, after she said them, she really regretted. And she wished that she hadn't been so explicit about the nature of that story. She regretted letting people know and being so candid about the night that she spent with Ronald Reagan when she lost her virginity to him as an 18-year-old. She worked with him on the set of a movie in 1950, and she was flattered when he started flirting with her. Their first night spent together didn't turn out to be very glamorous at all. It wasn't a romantic night like she expected. They basically had hamburgers cooked at his house. She went on to say that he was insensitive and a show-off in bed, but that he was a great kisser. Later on, when Reagan was president of the United States, she received an invitation to go to the White House for some kind of party, but she just couldn't bring herself to do it because of the past experiences that she had had with him. This is a great film, and if you haven't seen it, take a look at it. If you've already seen it, go back and watch it again. It's definitely one of those films that's worthy of a rewatch. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll continue to chase the classics.